Hi, I am Dr. Sridhar Kalyanasundaram. I am consultant neonatologist and head of pediatrics and neonatology at American Hospital, Dubai. I am proud to be associated with the International Neonatal Congress uh, as the president of the conference. I am also chair of the scientific committee. The conference is to be held between the 24th and 26th of uh, November at Dubai. 2016 uh, that's in the next couple of months so I'll be giving you an overview of the conference uh, highlight the few topics that are going to be discussed and stress on the importance of attending the conference uh, for the neonatologists and specialists associated with the specialty I'll also uh, give you an overview of uh, respiratory care and current updates as that is one of the topics that I'll be speaking on in the conference As we all know, neonatology is one of the fields where we uh, adhere to the principle of evidence-based medicine to the core. As far as possible, we try to follow evidence presented in the literature and where there is a gap, we try to do research and encourage research in the area which needs further update. The International Neonatal Congress, uh, as I mentioned, is to be held between 24th and 26th November and it's run as a three-day conference. The first two days of the conference will have a series of uh, lectures as well as uh, interactive sessions. One of the interactive sessions is going to be on neonatal resuscitation, which will be in the form of a panel discussion. We have also looked into uh, involving the audience more and so on the first and second days of the conference we have two sessions in the uh, evening which is the end of the day. These are called the round table discussions and the speakers will interact with the smaller section of the audience which will be rotated to the three tables which will be there. Very relevant topics uh, like neonatal jaundice, uh, pulse oximetry uh, in newborn and uh, the I mean, management of apnea of prematurity, the topics which are of day-to-day -day importance will be presented by very experienced speakers and the audience will have a chance to interact. So this is like short uh, workshop sessions. Um, the lecture topics have been uh, divided into various fields of neonatology of importance. So respiratory uh, care, neurodevelopmental uh, outcome, even uh, emotional uh, related topics like uh, uh, developmental care of the children and uh, some aspects of uh, neonatal nursing will also be discussed. Pediatric endocrinology uh, will be one of the topics uh, with relevance to neonatology and we also have uh, workshops on the third day of the conference. So the workshops uh, will highlight very important aspects. Uh, one of the workshops is going to be on infection control, which I'll be leading. We also have uh, Professor Atul Singhal from UK. He will be, uh, I mean, uh, conducting a workshop as well as giving a lecture on one of the challenging topics in neonatal nutrition, which is uh, how do we approach nutrition from long-term outcome point of view. I'm sure all of you would find this very interesting. Uh, Professor Lex Doyle is here and it's our honor to have him here. As you know, he's an experienced uh, clinician and researcher. He's very much into research and uh, he is going to give us an approach to evidence-based medicine as a workshop in addition to his lecture uh, uh, in the similar topic. So. Uh, I request all the neonatologists, I know there are uh, plenty of conferences uh, available in the region, but we want to present this as a unique opportunity where you'll have uh, speakers of international repute discussing very important topics and uh, I'm sure uh, registering and participating in the conference will be of uh, great benefit to you and I look forward to seeing you in the conference. Neonatal uh, respiratory problems are one of the commonest morbidities and in some situations are also a uh, cause for mortality. And in terms of uh, preterm neonates, one of the um, important outcomes we are looking at in terms of optimizing respiratory care is reduction in the rate of chronic lung disease of prematurity. So uh, we have uh, various uh, advances in the field and there is ongoing research. For example, people are looking into use of uh, prolonged inflation at resuscitation and this is still under uh, research. It's not into the specific management field yet. We have different forms of uh, ventilation, uh, synchronized modes of ventilation which help to optimize the outcome are advancing. Non-invasive ventilation is going to be a very important uh, tool to manage and there is enough evidence to show us that non-invasive ventilation is the way to go as far as preventing complications 
managing baby successfully, reducing cost of the intervention as well as reducing the risk of chronic lung disease is concerned. We have uh, evidence from various studies including the COIN study and the support study to show that this principle of non-invasive ventilation from the start can be applied even in the extreme premature babies and uh, in my talk I will be discussing on role of non-invasive ventilation in optimizing pulmonary outcome. Uh, in this conference, the other topics of importance to this subject are also being discussed. For example, the neonatal resuscitation update, which is going to be introduced from next year, uh, has many changes uh, to support optimizing future lung outcome. For example, in a preterm baby, it's recommended to start CPAP from the beginning. The approach to meconium aspiration is also changing and this will be discussed both in a lecture form and as a panel discussion during the conference. Um, one of the important areas of respiratory management is surfactant therapy and uh, newer non-invasive uh, ways of surfactant delivery has also been studied even though it's not uh, regularly practiced in clinical setups. Obviously the idea is to treat with surfactant and uh, do minimal intervention in forms of ventilation. Try to either extubate the baby immediately or give surfactant in a non-invasive way so the baby does not need intubation. So uh, this is another topic that's going to be discussed. As for the question of whether these breakthroughs are applied in UAE, uh, the answer is yes and to varying degrees depending on how the unit is prepared for that. So for example, the newer uh, changes in surfactant uh, management can be uh, applied in most of the centers once the neonatologists are conversant with the practice. The newer modes of ventilation availability varies from unit to unit but the concept that all of us go for non-invasive ventilation applies to all units and I can see the change happening that uh, neonatologists all over UAE are favoring non-invasive ventilation and hopefully uh, all the other advances will be applied at the earliest as well. As I mentioned earlier, evidence-based practice is key uh, to successful management and in neonatology it's very important that we follow unified guidelines and uh, one way of unifying guidelines is to get all the lead authorities in the region to meet on a regular basis and agree on consensus guidelines which apply to the entire region both in the private and in the government sector. There is already some measures going on in UAE and uh, doctors, uh, senior management doctors involved in both the HAD and DHA are involved in linking up guidelines in the region. One of the important guidelines uh, applies to the management of uh, respiratory care and uh, role in optimizing the long term outcomes. For an individual physician, it's very important to update his knowledge, uh, reading journals, attending uh, lectures and also attending conferences are an important way of how he can keep up to speed with the advances in the field. Attending conferences is unique because here you come face to face with experts in the field, uh, stalwarts who have themselves been actively involved in conducting the research. So they have uh, dedicated their heart and soul to get to the root of problems and they would already have faced the problems or questions, clinical questions that we may have and uh, having an opportunity to hear them speak, ask them questions and also meet them one to one during the breaks gives us an opportunity to uh, get an in-depth knowledge of how to apply this in our clinical practice. So uh, my recommendation for this is to have a regular system in every hospital for the doctors to upgrade the knowledge. The DHA or the HAD have their requirements for CPD points but the idea of attending conferences should be beyond getting the CPD points. It's also to further our knowledge and improve our practice so that we can dedicate ourselves to give the best care possible for the patients we treat. So we have uh, aimed to make the International uh, Neonatal Congress uh, to be a very fruitful uh, exercise for anyone who attends and uh, as we have given an outline we have key topics uh, very experienced uh, speakers in the specialty and uh, very interesting workshops in the conference so i hope uh, you will register and attend the conference and i very much look forward to seeing you there and interact with you